Now, Wave 31 Storm Tracker Chief Meteorologist Jeff Castle with 31 Triple Doppler. Chief Storm Tracker Jeff Castle joins me now. Jeff, you won't be tracking any storms this weekend at all. No, we're talking heat. That is the main thing that uh, is going to impact everyone. Uh, summertime kind of hanging on, even though fall officially rolls in here Sunday morning. Let's talk about your weekend and in a word, hot. Pretty well sums it up. 93 Saturday, 93 on Sunday. If you spend any time outdoors today, I did. Uh, I can attest it was a little toasty out there. It's going to stay a little humid as well for us as we work our way through uh, the next couple of days, but it does look like rain will stay out of the picture. We're talking highs that will run primarily in the lower 90s. The mugginess, yes, it's going to stick with us. Kind of sticky until we hit the middle to latter part of next week. There are indications that we'll get some sort of weak cold front that will come on through. Likely will spark off a little rainfall the second half of next week, but uh, we may see some improving conditions both in terms of temperature and humidity levels as we take you towards the end of next week. So this uh, hot and somewhat muggy weather is not something that's going to continue indefinitely. The dry weather, not going to do that either, although through Tuesday, most of us will stay rain free. Shower activity back starting on Wednesday, and that may be the beginning of an unsettled stretch of weather through the end of next week, possibly into next weekend. A lot of that will depend on tropical activity in the Gulf of Mexico. We are clear right now, though, way 31 triple Doppler, nothing expected overnight tonight into tomorrow morning looking for mostly clear conditions out there through the overnight hours and then towards daybreak may see a little bit of cloudiness but this will mostly be thin cirrus clouds coming in from the northwest we take it towards lunchtime tomorrow we'll call it mostly sunny midday and through tomorrow afternoon and sunday is going to bring very similar conditions clear skies six o'clock in the morning on sunday and then other than a few afternoon clouds on your sunday expecting to see quiet weather i know you see a couple little blips here of uh, some possible showers right now. We don't have that in the forecast, so I think future radar is being a little bit aggressive uh, with any chance for rain for us in the next few days. What we are going to be watching uh, come next week, the tropics. Uh, we're still looking at a increased risk that something tropical is going to develop either the Northwest Caribbean or into Southern Gulf of Mexico over the next several days. Latest update from the National Hurricane Center now giving a 60% chance that something is going to form here as we work our way through the next week. Next name on the list would be Helene, and that looks uh, like it may be something that forms in the Gulf as we work our way towards the middle of next week. Lots of questions, and we really won't have answers for you as to what develops, where it goes, and what impacts it's going to have until something actually forms that there is to track. But again, all the data suggests that something is going to develop there in the Caribbean and the Gulf in the coming days. So please check back with us for the latest updates as we get the newest information in. For tonight, though, no weather worries. We'll cool back nicely, mid to upper 60s. Tomorrow, temperatures will be on a steady climb, 84 degrees around 10 o'clock in the morning, around 90 at the lunch hour, and then we'll spend much of tomorrow afternoon in the lower 90s for highs, about 93 for Huntsville, same indicator tomorrow, 92 for Athens, 93 degrees out in the shoals, even over here in the Sand Mountain. We're not looking at uh, temperatures that will be much cooler in most cases, sitting in the 90s for your highs. Way 31 Storm Tracker, 10 day looking like this. Again, fall arrives Sunday morning. Summertime heat, though, continues at least the first couple of days of the fall season. We'll remain at or above the 90 degree mark until Tuesday. And then after that, beginning to ease back on the heat a little bit, falling through the 80s, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And by next weekend, maybe seeing some afternoon highs back in the 70s. Low end rain chance the second half of next week. I'm carrying those into next weekend, but keep in mind, depending on what happens in the tropics, it is possible that Saturday, Sunday, next weekend, could be much wetter than it looks right now. But again, all that depends on tropical development in the Gulf, which we'll be watching very closely in the coming days. This isn't a bad forecast, Jeff. Hopefully. Not at all. Yeah. You know, a little hot if you're doing some fall planting, things like that, but uh, at least it'll be dry. Yeah, hopefully Helene will leave us alone. Yeah, we will see. I know you'll be watching yep. for us. Thank mm -hmm. you.